I'm Gavin Wardinsky, Regional Executive Chef, Omni Amelia Island. I think it's important for us to um, rely on our locale and what we do and what we have. So I said to uh, the team that, you know, I want beehives. I said, I'm going to put them over there behind the palmettos. And their answer was, well, how are you going to get there? And I'm like, well, I'm going to build a bridge. You have to learn about the bees and how they work and what they do. One of the more surprising pieces that I find about the hives and what we have over there is um, how self-sustaining they are. So each one of those frames will hold five pounds of honey. They're all doing their job, but those flavor profiles differ based off of where you drop the boxes. So if you were to drop your hives in the middle of an avocado field, you get avocado honey. If you were to drop it in the middle of a blueberry field, you get blueberry honey. So with each one of the courses that we did out here, we wanted to have that focus and flavor of honey shine through. Uh, but we still wanted to play into uh, our locale. So being in Florida, on the Florida-Georgia border, uh, we've made a little half coconut. Our little garnish that we have in there is Asian pears that we've compressed with a little tequila and uh, honey from our hive. At the end of the day, I'm not doing this for my own personal endeavors. I'm doing this because I'm trying to create wow experiences for the guest. You know, we're fortunate now to have six different properties that have their own hives. Nearly 70% of our properties scattered throughout the nation, uh, we utilize the local honey in some fashion or another. I think it speaks volumes to Omni and what we do to, to better and push forward the, the not necessarily just trends of food, uh, but also into like leading the industry of, of what's out there. Nobody else is taking on varietals and honey. For Omni, it's great to see the next set of fun that we can bring to the brand.